Many areas of Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina are comprised of karst limestone. In Florida and coastal South Carolina, the porous karst formation is located within the aquifer and is heavily water saturated. Most mining operations in Florida use a Florida special type drill, which is designed to enable a casing to be loaded through the Kelly bar. The purpose of the casing is twofold. One, to keep the hole open after drilling. Two, to prevent explosives from migrating out through cracks, fissures, and voids. Cardboard casings loaded through the drill steel have three disadvantages. The casing is much smaller than the drilled hole. Therefore, the explosives are unconfined and energy is lost. The unconfined charge can be pre-compressed when adjacent holes detonate. It is impossible to properly stem when casings are used. The Florax Center for Advanced Explosives Research has discovered that holes in many karst geologies are not as prone to collapse as previously assumed. What has always been considered collapsing is often the drill cuttings returning to the hole as the drill stem is retracted. Because of the vast amount of water combined with innumerable cracks, fissures and voids, drill cuttings are often not removed from the hole. Rather, they are displaced into voids. When the drill stem is retracted, the negative space is filled by flowing water that inevitably returns the drill cuttings into the hole. This important discovery inspired Florex to begin developing reverse circulation drilling for blast holes. Reverse circulation removes the cuttings up through the center of the drill stem rather than the typical methods which push cuttings to the outside of the drill stem. By removing the drill cuttings through the interior of the drill stem, the drill cuttings cannot migrate to voids and are removed from the hole. The drill pipe stem has inner and outer bars. Air travels between the ID of the outer bar and the OD of the inner bar. Drill cuttings are air lifted through the ID of the inner bar and exit via a special discharge swivel. Because no air or water contacts the wall of the borehole, there is very little disturbance to the borehole and the drilling process is very gentle to the walls of the drilled hole. There is also no disturbance to adjacent holes, which is often an issue when drilling in porous geology. Reverse circulation has solved hole collapse in many geologies where borehole casings were once required. However, the open hole will still require a casing to prevent the explosives from leaking out into the porous geology. The special discharge swivel allows for the drill cuttings to exit the drill pipe. Drill clippings being discharged. Discharge swivel and hose. After the drill stem is at the desired depth, the borehole is flushed to assure all drill cuttings are removed. Clear water indicates all drill cuttings are removed from the borehole. As mentioned, the open hole will still require a casing to prevent the explosives from leaking out into the porous geology. This is the Florex semi-permeable membrane sleeve. Fortunately, Florex has a novel and patented sleeving system designed to be used in water-saturated holes. The sleeve is made of a semi-permeable membrane, which enables the free passage of water both in and out of the sleeve. However, the openings in the membrane are too small for the explosives to escape. 
The patented sleeve is easily deployed in water-filled holes. It has been used to encase borehole depths of 175 feet and effectively contain the pumped explosives. The sleeve is also very robust and can support charge weights of 2,500 pounds. So even if a large cavity is encountered, the sleeve can be supported on the surface and essentially hung in the hole. Removing the cardboard casing enables proper and effective stemming. 